Now, this is going to be a little bit of review of what we just talked about. For example, chirality, which deals with chiral things. And we said that chiral means hand in Greek. True. A molecule is chiral if it has an enantiomer, which means it has a non-superimposable mirror image. Things we've talked about before. Now let's talk about mirror symmetry. And another way of looking at it is an object or molecule is chiral if the one object, just one of them, uh, does not have mirror symmetry. And if you look at two hands as shown here, then uh, there is no, um, so we said they're chiral. We said chiral means hand, that in a mirror, there are non-superimposable mirror images. All right, but now let's talk about symmetry. And we're talking now about one object. And one object, oop, oh, it thinks I'm raising my hand in Zoom. Uh, yep. Um, thinks I have a question. But let's see. So um, this hand does not have mirror symmetry. Mirror symmetry means you can draw a line through the object and that one side will reflect to be the same as the other. And in this particular case, then you cannot draw a line down the middle and have this spot be exactly the same as that spot this spot be exactly the same as that spot. It gets tricky because what happens if you draw a line down this side of the hand and it's still not the same because the this fingerprint side on this side is not the same as the knuckle side on the back, even though you're getting closer to a symmetry. And, um, now we're going to talk about chiral versus achiral objects. So uh, chiral objects of non-superimposable mirror images, while achiral objects can be superimposed and do have mirror planes. And so uh, the hands, as we showed, the flask, on the other hand, does have a plane of symmetry. So this spot right here and this spot right there are mirrored identically, while this spot and this spot are not. Um, and again, you can do any, you can, it only has to have one set of mirror, of mirror symmetry, and uh, a hand has no sets of mirror symmetry. And uh, what's interesting though, <laughs> is, uh, uh, is this glove is, a chiral, and you say, well, it doesn't have any symmetry planes down the front, but if you have a mirror plane that is exactly down the length of this, it is true that different than an actual hand, this glove has exact symmetry. So the back side of it and the front side of it are exactly the same. And so if I put this glove on and I hold my hand perfectly still, my hand inside this glove almost approaches a mirror symmetry. Um, anyway, but the glove itself does have mirror symmetry, meaning that the front half and the back half are identical. But hands themselves, because the front and the back are different, do not have any mirror symmetry. Um, and that's a little more advanced idea about symmetry because most of the things I found just draw a line down the front. But you can draw the line anywhere, is what I'm saying. And no matter where you draw the line on a hand, there's no plane of symmetry. That's why hands are chiral. No matter where you draw the line of symmetry here, and that's what we're going to do next, this is bromochlorofluoromethane. Um, and uh, again, something that you couldn't be asked to name. We've got one carbon and that carbon is the chiral center. And again, we're showing at the top here that there is a mirror plane and that it cannot be superimposed. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and make the bottom molecule, which is dichloro and dichloro. And again, we, we from what we've said, we know oops, that this is going to be a chiral because it's got two things that are exactly the same on it. Let's see, two chlorines. We'll actually do it the same way it is in the picture here. There we go. So these two molecules are mirror images, but they are actually the same molecule told them by the hydrogens. There we go. So you can see they have the two greens in the back and the fluorine, the yellow one in the front. These are, um, these can be superimposed. And this is not chiral or achiral. These molecules are achiral. And on the next one, so the bromochlorofluoromethane has no plane of symmetry. And this definitely, if you make a plane right here through the hydrogen, carbon, and fluorine, you, uh, the chlorine on each side is symmetrical. There is a plane of symmetry. And you can see it right here with this line. And that means it's achiral. And that's just like the glove I showed you. If I hold up the glove correctly, let's hold it up like that, then you can actually draw down the side here a plane of symmetry, and each side is exactly the same, which is pretty cool. And we'll leave that one for the next video.